Hi, this is an M3 with a start run problem. Okay, so essentially here's what happens. You start your engine and then you flip on your run switch and this happens. The run motor does not engage. Okay. The first thing you want to check is to make sure that your start and run switches are in the off position. If the run switch is in the if the off uh, the run switch is in the run position and you go to start it, it will not start. The start engine motor will not engage. So make sure that the run motor switch is off. Okay, what you want to do now is to take off the tone generator cover. This tone generator cover is located on the back. It it covers the um, um, the moving parts, the tone generator and the start motors and run motors, to keep them from getting dirty. Um, there are seven bolts on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those will be attached to the bottom frame. One, two, three. Okay. And then at the top, there are four bolts. One, two, three, four. And uh, what you'll need to do is, is just unscrew them far enough where you can lift it up. I usually leave these screws in place and just loosen them far enough where I can lift up the tone cover, the tone generator cover. So I lift up the tone generator cover, pull it out, and then set it in a safe place for a second. Okay, at this point, you may have several problems. One, it could possibly be the switches, which you can easily access and test at this point in time. Uh, number two, it can be the run motor, which is this motor right here. So when you start it, you'll hear the start motor start to spin, and then the run motor will rapidly slow down. And the third thing that it could be, and what I found it to be on several occasions, is this resistor. Okay, so here's what I found out. I am um, remove this resistor, and this is part of the trick. You must remove the resistor from the from the uh, circuit board here okay so when I remove the cert the resistor um, the uh, it registers 30 30.1 ohms which is far too low this should read about 250 ohms if you check a good resistor two hundred and fifty five ohms as you could see okay so that's the problem and the trick is to take it out of the um, take it out of the um, the circuit board in the organ. If you don't take it out of the circuit board, it's not going to read correctly. To demonstrate, here is the resistor hooked up to my ohm meter. Well, it's in the circuit board, and I'm only getting 0.4 ohms. So you will not be able to tell if you're getting the correct homage with the resistor in the circuit board. I believe this is the starter helper resistor. Um, it's marked AO-19124 and it'll have different variants after it. Uh, this is variant 15. Um, anyway, I hope this helps you solve some of your problems. This is John Knoxon, John's Hammonds, signing off.